hi family welcome back again to my youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for always coming to watch my video i really appreciate thank you if you are new in my channel this is the first time you are seeing me a baby a bo please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the post notification so yeah so that you'll be the first to notify anytime i upload a video like share comment everything good thank you so today um i'm here to talk about what some lady always said that anytime i hear this thing i feel bad i always feel bad from my heart even though i don't say anything even though i don't talk anything but i always feel bad you hear a lady saying i don't want to come i don't want to marry a man that has to. why me i'm praying god give me a good mother-in-law that should be the prayer for everybody and god make me a a good daughter-in-law because when you are a good daughter-in-law god will make your husband your mother-in-law to be a good mother-in-law not for you to be telling my my mother-in-law is very wicked do you check yourself do you check yourself with whether you are the reason she's wicked and if you check yourself and you are free to go don't pray for her to die give her cap by giving her cap peace you care for her you you buy things for her you take care of her as a mother-in-law give her everything she wants but don't live with her that is my own opinion then if you have your own opinion leave it in the comment section let's chat there okay by take care of her because she is your mother-in-law she's the one that bring that man that you are getting married to don't pray god i don't want to come and see my mother-in-law one day you'll be a mother-in-law and your daughter-in-law will pray for you to die before he get she get married to your son so we should not even the bible said anything that you don't want another person to do to you don't do it to another one anything you would like someone to wish you please first which another person so if you don't want your uh, daughter-in-law to come and say i want my mother-in-law to die please can we ladies stop saying it's not fair it's not fair and there's nothing that god cannot do because anything that god cannot do does not exist so you put them into prayer you pray prayer is the key prayer is the master key pack all the family into prayer and god will definitely change their heart don't pray for someone to die don't pray for your mother-in-law to die because one day you'll be a mother-in-law for you mothers-in-law today not today mothers-in-law to have a daughter-in-law is not a day job the same way you love someone else to treat your daughter then treat someone's daughter the same way let if somebody marry let her have peace in her home i really love a place that there is peace even though i don't have food even though i don't eat but let me live in peace because that is my name peace I'm supposed to have peace 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 supposed to follow me i love a place that everybody is happy I don't want to see anybody sad. I don't want to see anybody angry. I love a place that everybody will be happy. Because me in particular, I will be happy. So please, mother-in-law, we should change and live peacefully with our daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law, love your mother-in-law. Let her give you that prayer, that blessing as a mother-in-law. Let her say something about your life as a mother-in-law don't tell people my mother-in-law is a witch if she was a witch would 
will she will eat your husband before you even meet him the even though she's a winch you don't have any right to judge because the bible says judge not you keep on telling god you keep on praying there's nothing that god cannot do because anything that god cannot do does not exist you keep on praying and tell god change my mother-in-law take care of your mother-in-law that is when god that is how that is why god give them children so that they will have somebody that will take care of them when they are weak so if you abandon your mother if you abandon your mother-in-law when he need you most because she do you this because she do you that no continue doing what you are doing continue doing a good job god will reward you even though when she doesn't see because some of mother-in-law if you like kill yourself they will not see keep on doing it it's god that will be it's only god that will pay you back there's, it, there's nothing on earth that you can do for somebody that will pay you back. It's only God that will reward people. So if you are doing, continue doing a good job, continue doing a good work, continue doing what you are doing, continue doing a good thing, one day God will reward you. God will reward you. Then love your mother. Care for your mother. Some children, because their mother have business, you don't, you can't remember the day you buy clothes for your mother because she's a businesswoman. You can't remember the day you buy food for her because she's a businesswoman. You can't remember the day you take care of your parents because they are business, they have their own money. Even though your parents have many money, go to the market and buy something for them. Even though it's 500 naira something, let them give you that blessing as a mother. Let them speak into your life. That is the key. Sweep for your mother. Take your wash up. If you don't have money, wash your mom's clothes. Wash your parents' clothes. When do you when do you wash your parents' clothes? Pick them and keep them. Wash them. Let them bless you. Let them tell you, God bless you for what you do. And that is when the blessing will start coming. It may not come that particular time, but in future you will enjoy the blessing. So let us as a lady, those that, is, that have already get married, those that are almost into marriage, those that are still believing God for marriage, let us have this in mind. We should be we should be the person that will bring peace into the home don't go inside don't go to someone's family because they marry you and you scatter the family don't go and scatter brother and brother don't go and scatter sister and sister instead of that when you go to the family and they are not happy try and make them happy try and put peace in between brother and brother don't scatter someone's family because one day you have your own family someone else will scatter so, so what you will reap tomorrow. I believe this makes sense. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe if you don't do so. Yes, yeah, subscribe so that you'll be the first to notify any time I upload a video. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video for now. Bye-bye.